What is up guys, Tomcat here, and today we have a battle for you guys. We have one of the best battles that uh, that I've actually done in a long time. One of the battles that I am super excited about. Now, we have two basically fully outfitted mud trucks. We have a Chevy on the left, Dodge on the right. Well, technically, it'd be flipped if you're looking... Well, anyway, my left, their right. Anyway, so... Uh, the Chevy, I have never driven before. The Dodge I have, but I've never actually taken it down a, you know, like a proper mud kind of drag course before. Uh, the first three, half to three quarters of this track is mud, and then after that it's kind of a mixture of mud and then rocks and then logs and things like that, so... It's not really going to be timed, it's just going to be more based on how well these trucks do getting down the track itself. So, uh, they're just out of range, unfortunately, which is kind of whatever. I mean, we could do whichever one we want first. I'm going to go ahead and do the Chevy first, because I've never, I've never driven this truck before whatsoever. Like, this truck is completely 100% new to me. So, we're going to get it started, well, it is started up, but... I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys around the truck first. I mean, it's basically a it's it's basically a Duramax body with a um, you know like a Chevy Silverado Duramax HD body with a tube frame, a massive uh, you know massive mud truck transfer case, everything custom underneath, coilovers, massive I don't even know probably 60 60 some odd inch tall tires. And, uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and see- well, actually, let me see if the lights work. They kind of do. Alright, so, without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and see if this thing really works like it says it does, and, uh, or like, well, like it looks it looks like it does, and, uh, we're gonna have some fun. Power, come on! Alright, oh god, it won't go into high, there we go. Oh my god, well, it goes! <laughs> it works for what it's made for! Whew. Holy crap! Jeez! Okay, yeah, guys, you need this thing. You need this thing like- oh crap, come on. Only thing is, if you lose momentum, it kills it. It kills it if you're in high and you lose momentum, but still, you guys need this truck. You guys need it now. The only time so far that we've been stopped is when it got, uh, got a little iffy and high. Oh my god, dude, it walks over these logs no problem. I mean, you guys remember- how big of a deal these were in a lot of the other vehicles we tried. This, not a problem. Well, this last one might be a little bit of one, but... Eh, come on. Maybe, like, low two? There we go. Yeah, lose... Ugh. Use, not lose. Use the low gearing to get the extra grip that we need. And then, hopefully, just walk right over. Not even close. Okay. I was good. I was trying to like to go in automatic and then bomb it into high, and see if I could, you know, kind of get get a little bit of a kick almost. Go 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 go! Oh, I was I was really close. We could have done it. I'm gonna leave it in automatic mode this time, and see if we can just get it to go through like that. But if it stops, we're in trouble. Oh god, I think it might stop. Crap. Okay. So the only pro uh, the only problem so far the only part we've had trouble with is literally this um this log right here and even when we try it wow even when we try it with a little bit more momentum it still likes to get stuck and hung up I'm not going to winch though because I feel like this truck should be able to make it through something like this without winching and it's not like there's any shame in winching it's just the fact that I feel like something like this technically should be able to make it through without using one there we go it just Dependent on the line we took. Let me put it back up in high and see if we can finish this in high. Finish it strong. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Little jump at the end and it falls on its side. But it's okay because it falls right back down on its wheels and we can start it back up and go. So, uh, next up is the Monster Dodge. And, okay, so we're literally all the way down here. That's that's a longer uh, stretch than it than it. I don't know, than it feels like. But let's get the Dodge started and see what it can do. Oh, yes. Proper power. Alright, we're ready, and go! Go, go, go! Oh, my God! 
This just might take it. Jeez! It almost flipped over forwards. This side's a little tricky, but... Oh my god, okay. We're, we're, well, we're a little bit past where the Chevy... Oh my god. This is definitely faster than the Chevy by any stretch of the... Oh my god! By any, like, not even any stretch of the imagination, that just destroyed the Chevy. We didn't even need to time it to know that it destroyed it. I mean, it took, what, I don't know, a couple minutes for the Chevy to get down here? That did it in less than a minute. That's, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. But I tell you what, since that didn't take that long at all, um, I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna see what these things can do over in the little, uh, off-road park, because they're, they're not, I mean, I know that they're not made for that. I know they're made for mud. But at the same time, I feel like it would be fun just to see. Uh, what's down in there? Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. That's cool. Dude, I've never even seen down in there before. Dude. Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay, I need to go down in there with some other vehicles. I don't know about these, because these aren't really suited for it, but... I'm definitely going down in there with something at some point for sure, because that's awesome. What is this even? On the left. That's proper crawling. Okay, we need to bring some crawlers back here. Because I didn't even know those areas of the map existed. Alright, come on. Up the hill. Up the hill. Uh-oh. Maybe not up the hill. Uh -uh. We'll do it in low three. See about crawling it. Okay, low two. Is it too steep for this? I think it's too steep for these trucks. I'm gonna have- well, that side is too steep. I'm gonna go to the right and see if we can get up that side. Only problem is, if we can't, that's the thing is, if we can't, well, we definitely know that these things can- can handle mud really, really, really well, but can't climb worth crap. Which is kind of the- which is kind of how actual mud trucks are, come to think of it. They can handle mud super well, but, like I said, they can't climb worth crap. Okay, are we seriously- okay, there we go. There's our little bite point of grip that we were looking for. God, that thing looks so crazy. <laughs> oh, you're nearly over the hill. Come on, you're nearly over the top of the hill. Come on. There you go. Now, the only challenge is to not flip it over on the way down. Which is, I think, easier said than done in a truck this size. We almost flipped it. I know it didn't look like we almost flipped it, but trust me, we almost flipped it. There's no exhaust coming out of the, like, I don't know, it's not... It ain't rolling coal. Why's that? <laughs> Seriously, though. It's leaning bad. It's leaning real bad. I wonder what happens if we'll take it off this... Jump! Oh! That went better than expected. Let's kind of walk down this little... Ramp real quick. Oh, let's see if it can do, um, if it can handle these flex ramps. I do like the four-wheel steer. The four-wheel steer is fun to use. Alright, I'm not expecting much from the flex ramps because these are not flexy trail trucks in any way, shape, or form. Um, they are mud trucks, and that is what they are. That is all they are. And... It's, it's clipping through, like, everything right now. It's not even wanting to, it's not even wanting to go anywhere, it's just clipping. That's not right. That's like, it, ugh, that's strange. Does it, does it clip through everything else? <laughs> Hold on, back up, back up, back up. God, this thing is, okay, I'm literally, I'm holding, oh, it's not, that's not the gearbox, that's me. I didn't realize I had it in low, but look, it just clips through the logs, that's weird. Does it clip through these? Yes, it does clip through those. That's weird. Okay, so... Update on this truck. It clips through freaking everything. wonder if the Dodge does the same thing. Although, I am going to try and take it up over those ramps before we finish. Can we get up over these? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can. It's like the only thing that can. <laughs> Alright, I'm head to the right. Oh, go straight, please. Please. I will say, though, the four-wheel steer makes it really easy to get these things turned around in a tight area. Oh, God, up and over. 
come on. Didn't even scrape. That's the benefit of having a truck this big. Alright, now time for the dodge. Go ahead and bring the dodge over there. See, the dodge, actually, you can see the exhaust, so it's proper. Now, the the only thing is, I feel like the dodge is a bit faster, which means it may be able to get up those hills, because it's got a little bit more wheel speed. That sucked. Back up, please. Come on. I'm not even going to acknowledge that. That's, like, that was terrible. <laughs> Over. Ooh, God. All right, make a left. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, definitely not an automatic. Automatic's not even going to come close to working. Come on. Ooh, what are you doing? God, will these freaking 50, 60 some odd inch tires find some damn grip? You have to kind of, I don't know, almost... Not really, well, kind of crab walk up the side of the hill like we did with the Chevy because it doesn't really want to find any grip. This is actually worse. This is worse. I'm going to give in and use the winch here because this is worse. Did you see that tree freaking move? I guess this thing is so heavy, which I imagine this truck would be super heavy. It would have to be with, like... All the extra added weight of that, you know, of that frame and those axles and, like, everything involved. Like, dude, it, it's... It would be ridiculous. Ridiculously heavy. Come on. Sometimes winching from the back of the truck does work, but... It, ooh, the Chevy climbs better. The Chevy absolutely climbs better. This one's better in the mud, but the Chevy climbs way better. I wonder if the rocks will give us any traction help. Uh, kind of, but at the same time, not really, because we slide back down. Oh, wait, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Trying to work the front axle. There we go. Finally. Okay. Now, here comes the task of not flipping over on the way down. Which is a bit of a task, I have to say. Hey, that was actually not as close to rolling over as the Chevy was. I'll back up real quick. So, same thing, we're going to do the same thing as before, we're going to do the ramp, and then we're going to do, uh, the, like, the kind of, you know, the little flex ramp, and then we're going to do, um, we're going to do that bridge. So, the jump first. Dodge is more nose-heavy, that's for sure, it's because it's got that big Cummins in the front. Alright, now, let's see if these clip, like, they're, you know, just phasing through everything. Yep, these clip, too. I don't know why they clip so bad. There's really no point in doing it if they're going to just clip through. Alright, so, since those clip that bad, we're just going to go and do the bridge because, although, with these, with the, like, the, the bigger logs, they, it doesn't clip. Like, watch. Just right up. I mean, it clips a little bit, but not too badly. Not as badly as over on the flex ramps, for sure. And the other issue with this truck is that the Chevy has four-wheel steer, this one does not, which makes this one a bitch to turn around. Come on. You make it up over? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It almost it almost got ridiculous on the, like, when it was getting over the top. But if you guys enjoyed this video on these two mega trucks, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. Uh, tell me also which one you guys think won. Um, if you guys think there's a winner here, I think it kind of was the Chevy. Because uh, the Chevy, the, the Dodge was great in the mud, but the Chevy can do a lot more than the Dodge, I think. But, um, but anyway, if you guys, again, did enjoy, don't forget to like. Tell me in the comments what you thought of it and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you guys later.